Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be going over the Inkscape scaling issue and also how Inkscape reads uh, different file formats here. Uh, I made a similar video to this before, but there's one issue that I didn't address in that, and I'm going to address it in this. So I'm going to go pretty quickly here, and if you want to see more in depth, you can check out that other video as well. But this is going to pretty much cover the other video and uh, this new um, issue that arose as well. Just in case you don't know how to use Inkscape yet. Uh, I really don't know how to use Inkscape that well, but I did the research on how to fix this for you guys. So, for example, if you buy a file on Etsy, you may see um, that it shrinks when you open on Inkscape. So, for example, I just made a quick one inch square by one inch square, as you can see up here in Illustrator. Um, save this and then I imported it into Inkscape and as you can see in Inkscape it shows up as uh, points by default so you can go to your file document properties and then you're going to change points to inches and you can see that it's not one by one yet so you're gonna have to change this 96 to 72 and you may want to just change this to inches as well and there we go so as you can see it is now one 0 0.014 uh, by 1.014 so you're wondering that's not an inch by an inch uh, so what this is taking into consideration is Inkscape also takes into consideration the width of your um, or the stroke of your design so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about so the actual stroke is being taken into consideration here. So if you go up to object and go to fill and stroke, um, we're going to go to stroke style. As you can see, if I increase this, this got significantly bigger here. And you can see that the size is actually getting bigger. So it's taking in consideration your stroke width. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing this. I found the way that you can actually make this read properly. So what you want to do is you want to go to your edit, click on preferences, and then you'll go to tools right here up top, and you'll make sure you have a uh, geometric bounding box checked. Then you can exit out of this. Um, once you have that checked, you're going to have to close out of Inkscape entirely for the change to happen, because as you can see, it's still showing up like this. So we're going to exit out of this, and we're not going to save it here. And then I'm going to right click and then we're going to open with Inkscape the same file. And I'll make this bigger. So now if you click on it, it's still going to go back to that point. So I'm not sure if there's an actual way to save the document properties each time. If you know, let me know in the comments. But uh, go back to inches on both of these and then you're going to change the 96 to 72 just like we did before. And as you can see, it is now one inch by one inch. So this is an Inkscape issue with the way that it scales based on the, the settings here. I zoomed in way too far there. There we go. But as you can see, that is an Inkscape issue on the way that the properties are set up and the uh, preferences are set up. So that is how you correct any kind of Inkscape issue that I can think of. Um, if you run into any other kind of issues, let me know. But that's all the issues that I've ever seen with Inkscape and different designs. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope this uh, helped you guys out and helped figure out how to do the Inkscape issue here. So we'll catch you guys in the next video, and we'll see you then.